physical, sexual, and spiritual abuse was so rampant in the Protestant situation that when I was counseling in a clinic in Vancouver, I stopped asking the question I, in my own mind, I wonder if this person has been sexually abused or something like that, when they were speaking of their struggles and, and problems. I started asking, well, I wonder when this one was, because I saw it in the Baptist, I saw it in Christian Missionary Alliance, I saw it in the Reformed, I saw it in the Episcopal Church. I just saw it everywhere. So uh, the scandal in the Catholic Church didn't rock me in any way. Uh, I'd been there, done that, counseled many, many pastors and children of pastors and many people in the church who'd been sexually abused. The thing that one holds to is Christ himself. He's the rock. He's the healer, uh, and you know his high priestly prayer in John 17. He wanted us all to be one, and so he prayed for us. He knew we would be scattered by the enemy, and um, you know we'd get off the track, etc. So just to cling to Christ Himself, who is truth, who is purity. Uh, who gives hope. Christ is my hope. So I'm not going to walk away from Jesus. And he founded the church on the apostles. And uh, so I'm not walking away from the church, no matter how we walk away from Christ. It's us that's the problem, not him. This is in our culture. This is rampant. And the Boy Scouts in every Protestant church that I have heard of, I've seen it. It's not just the Catholic Church. Um, and I would say to seek Christ uh, for yourself. We can't uh, allow things on this earth to um, dissuade us or to push us away or keep us away from Christ or his church. That's exactly what the enemy wants to do. So I'd say go straight to Christ and towards truth. And uh, he's the rock. And so this kind of scandal won't shake you if you're standing on the rock, Christ Jesus.